Welcome, my friends. Uh, good to see you this morning. I uh, got some coffee going. Ready to start another day. Hey, it's uh, yeah, brand new day, brand new week. It is. It is uh, Monday, November the fifteenth. And today, let's see. I'm going to share with you the. Uh, I'm going to share with you the word uh, for the word among us. And uh, today they're calling for the gospel passage, uh, the gospel of Luke, right here from chapter eighteen. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walked in front of him, rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When the people saw this, they all gave praise to God. The gospel this morning, the gospel from Luke for you. Hey, here's another story from uh, uh, another uh, person, a reader of this uh, periodical here to, to uh, today's gospel reading. Uh, we stood in a hospital room that dreary November day filled with doubt, fear, and discouragement. My handsome athletic 18-year-old nephew had been playing basketball and lacrosse just months earlier. Now he lay in a hospital bed after nearly nine months of intensive chemotherapy. He was still handsome, but the ravages of the chemo showed. He was at another critical crossroad in his battle with leukemia. To finally get released from the hospital, he would have to gain some weight, but that would require another invasive medical procedure. He was understandably tired and weary. Uh, he had clearly hit a wall and didn't want to undergo any more procedures, especially, especially painful ones. But to his credit, he agreed to let us pray with him. His mother, another aunt, and I gathered around him and placed our hands gently on his lean shoulders. Then I heard his mom, <clears throat> teary, but resolute, praying boldly, Jesus, son of David, have pity on my son. Help my son, heal my son. Her way of praying struck me forcefully in that moment. Like the blind beggar, she called upon Jesus as the son of David, the long-awaited Messiah, the one who would come and restore God's people and usher in his kingdom. Then she told Jesus exactly what her son needed at that very point in time. It was like the beggar asking Jesus, please let me see. Now, a few days later, uh, my nephew found the courage to allow the procedure. Uh, he soon gained enough weight to be released from the hospital before Thanksgiving. Over the next few months, he regained his strength, and today he's healthy and cancer-free. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Jesus' love and care for each one of us is so very personal. Like the blind beggar and this boy's mother, Jesus wants to hear from us. So today... Imagine Jesus asking you, what do you want me to do for you? Then tell him exactly what you need. Pray, Jesus, son of David, thank you for caring about my every need. So today, do it. Don't be afraid. Do it boldly. Ask Jesus. Tell Jesus what you need from him right now. And be thankful. Be thankful and joyful when you do it. Okay, my friends, make this a great day. Uh, even though it looks kind of lousy outside, it's uh, 37, rainy, or snowy, whatever it's doing. But enjoy. Nonetheless, and know that God loves you, and so do I.